Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Um, not much as time, not much time has passed. I just, you know, build up my juices. Yeah, I love a big spiral staircase. I gotta say, spiral staircases are moments where I oh, cool. Spiral staircases are always moments where I really would like to have a um. Yeah. All right, I think that's everything in here. So now we're just buying stuff for secondary weapons? Nope, they're all done. So now we're just buying our relic powers. Which way? Um, missed the magic jam. I wonder where it was behind that thing. Demay's garden. Um, it seems I'll let getting Patty into the talk. castle will be more difficult than first thought. Gabriel will have to navigate the maze gardens. In this place, a man can be lost forever, or devoured by the creatures that haunt its labyrinthine corridors. These gardens were once the most beautiful in all Europe, and many pilgrims would visit the castle grounds from lands far away to witness their timeless beauty. Now they lie wasted and rotten, decaying as their master lives on. I feel like it's so weird to, like... I feel like not a single one of these has, like, told me anything. I feel like I could have skipped them all and I, I would have been fine. Graven image. Um, I was recently watching Silent Hill 1, uh, Silent Hill 1 playthrough. What are you? Mandragora. Oh, they're small and their difficulty's low. Common ingredients in the creations of magic potions. Mandrake roots are an important resource for alchemists and mages the world over. Harvesting them is dangerous. When the roots dug, the panels scream, killing anyone near it. When they're fully grown, they become Mandragora, sentient beings who survive by draining the life force of creatures. Isn't it a little snowy for plants? I know that, um, you know... Oh, they're draining my life force. Just like that, just like was promised. I know that obviously there are plants that can survive in the cold. You know, like a pine tree or something, but like... I don't know, I, I, I would imagine a mandrake would be one of those like sensitive plants, you know? Is one enough? Cause, cause damn. Thought so. Those are the moments that I often love in like a, a, a God of War. When like the game is like, yes bro, one will be enough. One will do. What am I? Hello? I'm, uh, I think I'm stuck. The problem is that because of the weird fixed camera, I don't know what I'm supposed to be hitting to do what. That'll just stay there. I don't know what your deal is.
Oh wait, this is a gra is this a grab? Oh. That's pretty gnarly. I feel like I could also really just jump over that wall. Like it doesn't really feel that hot. I think there's a puzzle of some kind here. Willing to bet. What is my input for? Yep, it's this one. Shoulder charge. There we go. Oh, hello. I feel like it's been a while since I found a light magic gem. One normal swing's enough. Can I run from you guys? Is that what gonna work? It will. Okay. So we're in the maze gardens. Well, it means that there's some sort of maze to do, right? That tracks logically. I don't know if there's like a secret for destroying all those, but they use the same model many times and... I don't know. Hello? Need to get to the other side of the gardens. Must be way over the hedge. Like the movie? Been looking for tracks in the snow, telltale sign of movable objects. If I could find a column of statue, I could move and push it to the hedge. I could be able to get to the other side. Now this just goes here. So what's up with this, with the thing that I pushed then? Because I, I feel like it might just be a thing of like, game doesn't understand what I'm trying to do. Because yeah, because of the camera angle, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do to hit down. And I can't go that much further this way. And just pushing it when the stick is neutral does that. And I don't appear to be able to climb down or be able to climb down or up. And like this looks like the way forward. But I can't jump off. Okay, I spoke too soon. I don't know why the input to jump off is like that. I'm not exactly sure what I did. I think I hit grab and jump. Whatever. I could have jumped. They. I said that I didn't. I could have jumped. I said I couldn't have jumped. So that at least is on me. Ah, oh, tarantula. Commonly found in the snow, you know. It's been a while since I've seen one of you. I guess you're not like a tarantula type. You're just a big spider. Damn. Still remember that though, that's good. 
I do like Belmont's wars. Mount it. It sucks whenever they put so much work into a mechanic that I don't like, you know? They put so much developmental effort behind this, you know, this thing. Like, it's okay. Perfectly serviceable. It's not that it doesn't work. It's just that, like, every time something like this has happened, I would have rather been doing something else, you know? Okay, I think that's it. Spider one of the strongest materials known to man. Many varieties, some of them harder than toughest steel, but the one produced by giant spiders is strong and extremely expensive due to the difficulty of harvesting. Handwritten notes scribbled on the back of the scroll. People of Vigal have pointed me to the abandoned castle gardens. If I get my hands on the raw silk, I can leave the Brotherhood a rich and powerful man. Greed. Greed was what done ye in. Alright, checkpoint. Glad to hear. Don't have a key. Um, okay. Should I go, go get it? Um. And see, now that I'm like, I was, I was thinking about how like, the first two chapters have like a million missions in them. Like, they each have like nine and eight, I want to say. It's been a bit since I looked at the exact number. But it's just a little strange that, like, the first chunk of game, like, the first two chapters are called that, and they allegedly have all of this content in them. And then they kind of don't, you know? Like, from that point on. Like, I still feel like the first, like, seven episodes I recorded ended up taking more time than the next seven. And I'm still in the next seven, granted. There's also the element of, like, I've had breaks in between recording those episodes, but, like, I didn't record all seven in a burst. It's no secret that I backdate videos and that I... Oh, yeah, there's this. Uh, it's no secret that I backdate videos and that I... Um, set stuff ahead for the future. Like, for example, there's the way that, like, oh, like, Rao Cow posts videos, and, like, that could never be me. Ah, oh, crap. Should I not have killed that spider? But I got a checkpoint for going... Can I... Okay, look. It was... It was the era of the 360. You know, people were happy to use both sticks to control the game. Oh, well, look at that. Fixed camera angles are nice and all, but like fixed camera angles, I feel like they work better with a D-pad as well. Because when you have your four directions you're pushing, or, you know, you have mouse and keyboard, and it's like, okay, I'm pushing one of these four buttons to make me move. I'm not pulling on a stick or pushing. I feel like that makes more sense. Because it's like, okay, I'm going to push this direction, and it's going to keep sending me in the direction I'm pushing. So you don't you don't think that's like nice and logical? Have you? 
Okay. Now I guess let's go scrape through and make sure I didn't miss anything this time. Well, that's too big for my big spider butt to go through, so... I guess we'll go somewhere else. I suppose I couldn't use my double, my, my double dash on this thing. Probably rip the spider's legs off. Like you'd put the boots, the, the boots on two of the spider's legs. And then it would start to run really fast with those two legs, and then it would outpace the rest of the legs. And it would rend it to Sunda. It'd be very funny. Spiders, I feel like it's semi-okay to be cool to spiders, you know? Especially this spider. Like, God, it's got a skull on it. It's made to be evil. Can't be trusted. Um, there was that statue I wanted somewhere. Here we go. What is this? Okay, I guess we'll figure out what we do with that later. Or we'll kill a third spider. See, now this area is starting to feel nice and long. Which is something that we haven't gotten in a bit. You know, areas where you're just like, you get stuck in, you explore, you do the whole thing. I kind of like those. Oh, we're not standing in the right place. Ah. This is still an interesting mechanic. I think the way that it works is a little goofy. But it's cool. Oh, hey, look at that. Many gems. We found three so far, one of each. Okay. It's a minor thing, but if I remember correctly, the second game is also about Gabriel Belmont. And, like, that's fine, but it's just, like... It's a little bit of a shame and a little annoying when, like, you play as a character and they outright lose their gear. Uh, all the clues point to here, but I can't find the castle's key anywhere. Only in this inscription, but it's nonsense. Only when the three look at the center, the vampire queen allows you to enter. When the three look at the center. Should remember that I can do this. Hmm. What happens if I cancel? 
Do they return back to their initial positions? Okay, cool. One mo. Okay. Saw this online. Also, by the way, I love whenever games are like, hey, back out of the puzzle. Cool. Okay, I think. That's a little silly. It's so simple of a puzzle. <laughs> That's cool, though. I like that. Very interesting. Um, it's kind of like a slide puzzle. I mentioned again that I've been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed. Specifically, I've been playing the Ezio Trilogy. And, like, I don't know why exactly this decision was made. But, um, you know, there's, there's random lore, lore bits hidden around about how, like, Nikolai Tesla had an apple of Eden and, like, you know, Assassin's Creed is well to do and famous for being you know historical fan fiction of the highest degree um oh here it is yeah well known for being a historical fanfic of the highest degree and like i feel like most of those like lore dumps are either there to like add value, whatever that is, to your game of like, hey, people want to play this game. They want to get their money's worth. So we're going to put a whole bunch of crappy puzzles in. Oh, and then we go back up here. Hey, RT and A is, uh, uh, yeah. Makes sense. RT and A is what you do to drop. Totally forgot that. On me. His face. It's so... <laughs> when he holds his face in a very specific way, he looks kind of lame and doughy. <laughs> I'll say it. Um, yeah, there's a lot of puzzles in Assassin's Creed like that. Like, oh, you need to turn this one thing, but this one thing turns this other thing. And then if you turn these two other things, well... Wait, hold on. Maze Gardens. Oh, I got all of them. Cool. Time is running castle out. Castle Hall time. Night is almost. He's added nothing. I'm sorry, Patty. Soon the castle will be swarming with vampires. Those who are the most powerful of their kind are able to take on the appearance of high-born humans. Gabriel must be on his guard now, for appearances can be deceptive. I have heard that in this place one may face one's deadliest foes without realizing it until it is too late. I'm uh, I'm trying to I feel like Look, I don't know if I would have done this in such a way. I don't know if I would have hired Patrick Stewart to read a whole bunch of shenanigans for this game. Because like I I've been sitting here playing it this whole time. I'm not a game reviewer by any means. Um, you know, some doofus in a Hawaiian shirt playing video games, occasionally wearing makeup. My credentials when it comes to Castlevania are that I've played many of the games and I've beaten others. Not all of them. And I like them. I like how that guy has like weird little, little tentacles on top. Almost like a spider's pedophobes. Um, but like, I don't really feel like I'm getting much out of Patrick Stewart's narration here. Like, I don't really know what it's supposed to be doing for me, but like, I just, uh, 
I, I, I'm really thinking about it now, because like now I've just had to listen to them. And every time that I've listened to it, it feel like I just feel like I'm waiting for them to be over so I can keep playing again. Like, this game is very, very good action. It's got a lot of fun action in it. It's very fast paced. Nothing wrong with wanting to, like, step your game down a little bit because you can't keep this pace, but, like, I feel like just having Patrick Stewart jaw at me for a little bit is a little weird. And, like, it. the problem is not that it is Patrick Stewart, but, like, because it is Patrick Stewart, that means that they had to do so much more work you know, they had to put so much work into getting him cast for it and getting his voice in it. And, like, that was so much more money that they could have put into making more game. Again, like, similar to, like, the whole beast riding mechanic where, like, it's fine. It's not like it's broken. I don't hate it. It's okay. But, like, similar to that, like, I just really feel like I could have been having more fun if they had put money into making Castlevania. Is that crazy to say? Like... How many more hours of game would we have had? And let's be clear here, it's not like the hours of game that I have been playing are all perfect. Some of them are annoying or a slog. But how many more hours of game and how many and would those hours of game have been made better if they didn't put all this money into getting Patrick Stewart? Like he's such an expensive cat like role. Like, God, he was on Star Trek, and he was big and important on Star Trek. Like, some people who are on Star Trek, it's like, okay, whatever. Yeah, you're on Star Trek, but, like, what, what, what is that good for? Like, yes, Jonathan Brakes was on Star Trek, and he was a cool character, and he played a good guy. But, like, what else has he done with that? Like, it's not like he's done a whole bunch of shit with his Star Trek credentials. He was in Beyond Belief, Fact of Fiction with Jonathan Brakes. God, that, that's a show with a lot of colons, by the way. And then also, I love it when grabs turn into your advantage. Um, yeah, Jonathan Drake's like, yeah, he was in Star Trek and he was a big deal in Star Trek, but like, all he's really done with it is he was in Beyond Belief Fractal Fiction with Jonathan Drake's. And the most recent thing that I can think of that he's in, and I think I've even checked, is that he's the voice of Adult Finn in, Inve in, in, in Adventure Time. Like, I think Jeremy Sh Shada, Shada is the one who's normally Finn's voice actor. Wow, they're giving me these things. Like, those are like screen clears. Jeremy Shada or Shada is usually the one who's like Finn's voice actor. But whenever they have Finn like be really aged up, the dude who's playing him is always Jonathan Franks. Almost. Always. Damn. That sucks. And, like, they do these things in order to, like, have you play, like, <laughs> the way that they're like, okay, well, now that you've, now that you've game overed, here, listen to, listen to him again. <laughs> Trying to go for the grab.
I noticed that many of those vampires seem to be coming out of that same hole. God. That is obno- No. I went to grab him. Can we do it now? Cool. I'm very glad to hear that. grab him sort of doing this thing again also were there really no checkpoints because goddamn I think it's a little much guys okay now yeah not a chance I'm gonna get this thing open but something to do right I really, I was for sure. And I didn't want to say anything because I would jinx it, but like, damn. Another set of magical runes, text engraved on this wall is said to give the clues to activate them. Five runes, two of which are blue. Two on the west have the same color. Two of the north are both red. Five runes, two are blue. The west ones are the same color. The north ones are red. North ones are both red. What is west exactly? Oh, hey guys, pardon me. It's not this, is it? No, I don't think so. Excuse me, fellas. I don't have time for this. Oh, hey, there's that. I really feel like the game bugged out and, and should not have let me do this. Oh, I gotta grab it and turn it. Gotcha. So what about this one back here? Excuse me again, fellas. Yeah, look at that. You guys could cluster up so I could, oh. That'll work. Thank you. there's this business over here too excuse me again pardon me animated armor hmm well I can climb on that but I don't know why I would what it's doing for me I can also just take the hit to XP. Why not, right? 
Unless the game crashes. It's easy to figure out the orientation of this castle. The only possible solution, I will wait until morning to open using the sunlight to the mirrors. Well, that was lame. Was not as uh, illuminating as I thought it would be. I guess I gotta kill these guys then? Well, it was entertaining at least. I'm just thinking about how much more we have gotten out of out of these games. Because we call that there are only three of them. Rebooting, a, rebooting any series that has a shitload of power isn't like a crazy thing to watch. It's not, it doesn't make you a bad guy, you know? And like, god, there were a lot of Castlevania games. A lot of them didn't, like, do much or mean much. Because, like, in, to me personally, I always try to, like, justify what every Castlevania game is, you know? Like, oh, this is the first game where Alucard appears. This is the game where, you know, Juice becomes the first person to, like, you know, use relics in Dracula's castle after all the Bellamonts before him don't. But, like, I don't really know what the purpose of Juiced is. I don't know what his story means to the greater world of Castlevania. I don't know what he adds to Castlevania, you know? Like, Juice Belmont's deal appears to be, oh, he's the guy who decided to interior decorate Castle Dracula. That's really all that I can say in regards to what Juiced's deal is. And, like, yeah, that's a little weird, and, like, but that's, that's the game. And, like, rebooting that and getting that out of Castlevania isn't an inherently bad idea. Because, like, who's it for? It's for Ayame Kojima, obviously, because he wants to draw Alucard again. And it's for Iga, because he wants to play as Alucard again. He wants to direct a game where you can do that. But, like... Yeah, okay. Here's something. Was I... Fuck. I was looking the wrong way. Okay. Now we... Or do we? Can we punch it from here? There doesn't appear to be light on it. Huh. No, actually, I could also figure this out next time. Yeah, I'll do that. It's been 40 minutes, and I'm getting hungry. I'll see you guys next time. I'm Alfred. This has been Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Sorry about the wet fart of an ending here, but like, I want food. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. I hope you had a good time. I did.